All right, now we get to talk about my personal favorite element of addiction, and that is indeed recovery. There is recovery. Yes, yes, absolutely yes. I know that this might be brand new to you, but it is not brand new to everyone. Recovery for sex addiction has been around for decades. It's growing. The stigma around it is shrinking. It's not gone yet, but it is shrinking. The options are huge at this point. The main thing is that it is possible. You might think you're worse than anyone. What you've done is worse than anyone. If anyone knew you, they would hate you. They wouldn't accept you, that you are a lost cause. I don't have to know you to tell you that that's not true. There are no lost causes, so you can't be one. We've all done horrible things. I haven't met someone with addiction yet who hasn't done something harmful to someone or something at some point. For many of us, there have been many times that we have harmed others or situations. And you know we've spent a lifetime harming ourselves. That is par for the course. There's nothing that you could ever share with me that would shock me, that would cause me to believe you are unacceptable or unlovable. Period. It might feel hopeless now. This might feel huge. It might feel too big and like too confusing, too much of an undertaking, too hopeless, too helpless, too dark, too heavy, all of that. I get it. It's a lot. This is a lot. If you're actually seeking recovery, you're at a point where you want to stop. All of that behavior and everything that comes with it, you're done. You don't want it anymore. So it's probably gotten pretty bad. I'm with you. Believe me, I am with you. I get it. There is good news. All that stuff we talked about in the brain is awesome because the brain is plastic. It's malleable all of the time. It can be healed. And there are lots of ways to go about healing in this area. Now, there's actual direct recovery for sex addiction. It exists in 12-step programs that you can access from anywhere in the world on any budget at any time. There are several of them, in fact, probably more than I'm even aware of. There's Sex Addicts Anonymous. There's Sex and Love Addicts Anonymous. There's Compulsive Sexual Recovery. There are Couples for Sex Addiction and Recovery. There is Sexaholics. Um, anonymous. There are specific groups for pornography as well uh, in the 12-step realm. If it exists, there's a 12-step program for it. Now, 12-step is a spiritual path to recovery, undefined. Whatever spirit means to you is the 12-step path. Some people don't dig that. They don't want anything to do with that element of it. So they want to go for something that is more directly science-based or brain-based. So there are recovery programs for that. Smart recovery is one of the most popular. There's refuge recovery, which is a 12-step path to recovery for any area of addiction. There are specific counselors who work in this area, both as certified sex addiction therapists, as well as peer recovery counselors, others who have been in the same situation. A lot of those are still substance-based at this point, but it's growing. There's treatment centers that you can actually go and check yourself into. There are outpatient programs. There are others like me who work as a guide for self-mastery with people in recovery. There are Lord knows how many books that you can read. There's online courses. There are forums. There are so much information nowadays, even from back in 2014 when I started learning about this stuff. There is a ton of information out there, and there are so many paths to recovery. Now, I want to say some extra things about that. Because trauma is such a big element, 
it is the underlying cause for so many of us and how we got to this point of active addiction that it's really important to heal that trauma. If you want a truly holistic approach to recovery. Now, when I say holistic, I mean all encompassing. That means we're healing the brain, which has to happen. We are healing the habits, the behaviors themselves that show up in our day-to-day -day life as the actual reacting out behaviors. We are healing the mental side of it, the emotional side of it, the past side of it as well, whatever has gone on up until this point. There's the sexual side of it as well, becoming sexually healthy people. There are, is also the spiritual side, whether you believe that or not, there's certainly some mysterious element to all beings that we just put into the word spiritual. There is the emotional side. If I didn't mention that, I may have. And then of course, there's the relationship side of it as well. It's a lot. But I imagine so has your addiction been. We are whole people. You might not feel like that right at this moment, but we are. And we must heal wholly in order to really have what I call the boldly satisfying life. So that life that is so fulfilling, so abundant, so satisfying, very few people ever even attempt it. Hell, even if you want a better life than the one you're living, you want to be more in integrity, you want to be more in alignment with your authentic self, then recovering in a holistic manner is going to be key. And you can't necessarily do all of that at once. It's a lot. This is a complete change in who we are, in how we show up and how we live our lives. It's not just the elimination of certain behaviors, though that is an option. That is a form that some people do for their recovery. They just want to stop their behaviors. They want to put a Band-Aid on it, stop the bleeding right away. That's a great place to start. There are lots of ways that you can do that, that we have just discussed. The biggest thing is not attempting this on your own. We are not designed as human beings to thrive alone. We can survive that way for a time, but we cannot thrive there. This is too big to handle on your own. I know you're amazing. I know you are. I know you are an incredible, capable person with strength and so many wonderful skills and abilities you've gained in your lifetime. And I know you can't do this alone. So whether that is a counselor, a therapist, a 12-step group, a church group, a, a Buddhist group, a mental group, a one-on-one -on -one guide, a group therapy situation, a group guidance situation, your family, your friends, your priest, whatever, you will need a team around you. So I encourage you to start exploring these different recovery options and find the ones that work for you right now. Keep an open mind and an open heart as you move through your recovery process. What you need today is going to be different than what you need when you are one year sober, five years sober, 10 years sober, 10 months sober. It's going to keep shifting. So don't get locked into one healing modality. And those were just the direct ones. There's also EMDR. There's theta healing. There's cranial sacral. There is past life <laughs> healing. There's energy healing. There's a huge world of healing options available to us today from anywhere in the world, thanks to our virtual avenues. Find the ones that work for you now and then continue to explore the ones that work for you moving forward. Your highest and best self is waiting for you, whatever that looks like for you, whatever that means to you. I never have to encounter you to know that you deserve to have a happy, healthy life and that you're capable of it. You are worth loving. You are worth the effort and energy that goes into recovery. I don't care what you've done. I really don't. Believe me, I have been out causing damage in the world myself. 
there's nothing that you can do in life that makes you unlovable, that makes you unacceptable, that makes you unhealable. Wherever you are now is a perfect place to start your recovery, your next chapter of life. You can continue with whatever behaviors have led you to this course. You can, that's your choice, you absolutely can. But you don't have to. And if you don't want to anymore, if you're exhausted, if you are over it and you're done, then start looking for the path that works for you right now, right when you finish this course. And if you think that might be me, we can have a conversation around that. We can look into getting you into a group where we deal with all things in this realm. We do so without shame, without judgment, and always keeping an open heart. Whatever path you choose, know you are worth it. You are lovable. You are enough just as you are today. And there is absolutely hope for you in this recovery journey, should you so choose to take it. And I really hope you do, because there's wonderful things waiting for you. And they're going to be tough. It's going to be hard. I'm not going to lie. Changing your life is hard. Changing your brain is hard. It takes time. I can't say how much, but it does take energy. It does take effort. That's real. I'm not going to pretend it's going to be easy just because you make the choice to recover. It's going to take a lot of choices to stay recovering. You're not an addict. You're a person with addiction. It's not your fault. Now more than ever, with all the information you have, it is your responsibility to decide how you want to show up in life moving forward.